Johnson, who's going to be taking on number 10 from New Zealand, Harwinkles. They are off. Soundson looks like he might just have this, but Harwinkles, heavy push to, heavy hit to the chest of Harwinkles. That's going to hurt in the morning. Just taking a minute to catch his breath. I think he's just going to go off and bring somebody else on, I think, understandably, after taking a hit like that right to the sternum. New Zealand just happy to hold this possession well out of the zone. Meanwhile, in goes number two, Alcock, and number eight, Scott Gray, to try and make some space for their team. Lovely ball in to Walters. Illegal holding, turns the ball over to the Danish. The Danish now hugely on the counter-attack. They have exploded out of their zone. Over to Sjansson. Sjansson resists the push, manages to find a colleague. In comes Jansson, looking dangerous once more. <laughs> Beautiful passing there from the Danish. Kressensen coming in with all the force of a great typhoon. Late release sends the ball careening under the bar. Kiwis go in for take two. Once again, it's Gray and Alcock trying to open up some space. Walters starts the charge, finds Shepard, back out to Walters. The Danes giving no ground whatsoever in front of their zone. Dale going toe to toe with Gray to try and hold that space. Lovely ball in, beautiful pass inside the zone. Alcock thinking about it. Takes the shot anyway, only nine seconds left on the shot clock. No time really for a recycle there. Big calls from my left ear. The Danish supporters are here in force and I don't imagine that the Kiwi supporters are far behind. In goes Walters. Over to Shepard. Recycling back out, stopped at the border by Janssen, number six. Walters. Shepard. All the way over. Not quite getting hands to that, Brooks. Seventeen seconds left on the shot clock. We're gonna need something from the New Zealand team. Any second now, swatted away by the paddles of Vigo Willemsen. Alcock to take, back out to Walters, all the way back out to Shepard. Alcock once again hammering that Danish defence, having a little bit more success this time round. Just that wayward pass, really not doing New Zealand any favours. They need to tidy this up. They've got the speed, they've got the strength, they just need to stick the landing. Shepard takes it in, accompanied by Walters. Walters, shot, shuts down, off for a corner. The Danish line holding firm, just taking Polchinski off to bring fresh Willemsen on. Recycled out once again. Alcock and Gray working overtime in the zone, trying to open up some space. Seeing they're trying to work a split here. So we have two boats in and you run in between them. Again, that passing just letting this Kiwi side down a little bit. 
30 seconds left on the shot clock. Plenty of time to clean this up. Denmark covering the split now by putting boats in between Olcock and Shepard. Excuse me, Olcock and Gray. Stopped once again with a rebound. Off for another corner. How long can the Danes hold against this onslaught from the Paddle Blacks? Shepard. Over to Walters. Back to Shepard. Stopped again, kept under control. Chest pass to keep the ball on the pitch. Almost just within arm's reach of Harwinkles. That is interesting. I think, yeah, I think Luis Badiola just thinking better of that. I think I agree with the call now. Uh, naturally a much more popular call with the Danish supporters. Jansen sets about absolutely battering the Kiwi zone on this near side here. In runs Dale, Dale back out to Willemsen. Willemsen finds Torsland back out to Willemsen and we're going to see these two go backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards until they get that one-on-one -on -one shot with the keeper. Flicked away by Tyler Walters. Beautiful stop. Off for a corner. Denmark now with their first real chance at getting themselves on the board. Dale takes it short. Finds Willemsen all the way across to Torsland. Sends it careening off the back for a goal line throw. The Danes are not going to be caught on the break though. They wasted absolutely no time in taking Dale off and bringing goalkeeper Kassensen on. Danish looking like they're slotting into a bit more of a uh, static two and two. So two boats in the back, two boats in the front, but not actively chasing the ball down. Wind starting to pick up here in the Ching. I know I've mentioned it before, but it bears repeating. Again, wayward passing, just not doing the Kiwis any favours, Denmark threatening to chase out but ultimately thinking better of it, 10 seconds left on the shot clock, big calls of shoot, shoot, stopped long before Crescenson has to think about it at all by Jansen. Sjernsen to bring the ball up for his team. Willemsen. Over to Crescenson, Crescenson, Willemsen slides over the deck. It's a warning for number 10 from New Zealand, Harwinkles. We need to play it safe going forward, otherwise it's going to be a card. And a two-minute jail sentence. Forty seconds left on this shot clock. Janssen trying to open up some space. Harwinkle's pushing out and going to go give the Danes uh, something to think about, it seems. In goes Willemsen. Willemsen looking dangerous. Slides pass. One-on-one -on -one shot with the keeper. Narrow goal face, though. Very difficult shot to take. Not much room to manoeuvre in there at all. Willemsen did very, very well to skim past that all-black defence. Sjernsen, Crescenson, Willemsen. Back out to Crescenson. 36 seconds left and we're going to see the Danes play this round. Harwinkel's going to go out to 
can menace Christensen on occasion. Denmark happy to pile boats in here. I think they know that they've got 10 seconds left and there's going to be no chance of a rebuttal. So they're going to commit everything to this attack. Lovely ball over. Willemsen looking dangerous. Needs to find the pass inside the zone. It's kept beautifully uh, out of harm's way by the Kiwis. Absolutely stunning polo. So nil-nil here at half time. Both teams spectacular control. I think if I was going to criticise, I'd say the passing probably could be tidied up a little bit. Um, I think that would really be the difference between excellent and truly fantastic. Just while we've got the Danish on the screen, uh, they we managed to chat with them uh, earlier in the week. They have their hearts set on a semi-final um, which they very much could still make if they can win all of their games going forwards. They've recovered very well from Santa Mel to come back absolutely swinging at Brandenburg uh, last year at the Euros where they made the final. That game's absolutely fantastic, so if you've uh, got a minute or two, I would consider going to catch up with that one. Over in the New Zealand camp, they also have said they won a semi-final. They've had to fundraise themselves to get here with uh, with Polo being quite Europe-centric. I think that's probably fair to say, normally. That, of course, means huge personal expense for these players. So if there are any Kiwi companies listening, consider supporting your Paddle Blacks and Paddle Ferns today. On the subject of uh, support and sponsors, I'd like to thank our sponsors, the International Canoe Federation, the Chinese Canoe Association. We're being hosted so graciously by Hujo City in Deqing County. Of course, who could forget our global sponsor, Yupin Sports, Kong Group, Latour Sports and Kailas. Thank you very much. We have also got the ICF sponsors as well, BYD Auto, Bracker Sport. We've seen uh, a few players, you can actually see them on the screen now, using uh, Bracker Sport paddles. Very nice. Alibaba Cloud, Dan Sprint, Iron Master, Kayford, Playtex, Osa Dry Pack, Nello Kayaks, Hua Ao Boats, Peixiong Boats, and again the Kailas Group getting things underway here on pitch one. Sprinting once again from the Kiwi team. It's looking like it's going to be Harwinkles who's going to go head to head against Sørensen. They are off. This went to the Kiwis in the first. Can it be two for two? It is. I think I'm misremembering there, sorry. The Danes won the first one, anyway. Straight into the zone, goes all cock and grey. Trying to open up some space here. Shepard takes it in to Walters. That's more like it, absolute monster shot from Walters. Goes off for a corner, and I think that's what we need to see from both of these teams. Tight passing and unbridled aggression and speed. Harwinkles takes it in himself, tries to slide past the first line of defence. Bangs one in for New Zealand. 
aim of the game is to draw the defender and I think how long has I said fine you're going to leave me unattended I'm going to do that New Zealand won Denmark nil I am a threat and you will take me seriously in swift reply Willemsen comes in it goes off for a corner can the Kiwis hold this Willemsen all the way out to Sanson. Willemsen again. He wants it. Top bar. Kept under control. Comfortably away from any hands with a paddle, so no foul called. Sanson. In goes Dale. Back to Sanson. Takes it himself. S Harwinkle's just getting away with an almost late push there. Swatted away. Harwinkle's having put New Zealand a goal up. Moving backwards and forwards to be an absolute menace to the Danes, whose passing has been much, much tighter in recent years. Very nice. Ooh, now that's... I think that was uh, Janssen appealing for a paddle foul. Denmark are on the board. Janssen is magically healed. Denmark won, New Zealand won. All to play for here on pitch one. Both of these teams, they need a win here if they want to make their dreams of semi-final glory come true. Once again, all cock and grey go in to try and create some space, punch some holes in that Danish defence. Oh! Shepard sends a screamer off for a corner. In goes Harwinkles. Can he go two for two? He thinks about it. Those Danish paddles just say, you shall not pass. Needs to get hands on this. Someone needs to get hands on this. I think that's uh, kind of six of one, half a dozen of the other from a uh, refing perspective, I think. Referees choosing to keep the flow of the game going, which is very understandable. Harwinkle's back out to Walters. All the way in front for Shepard. Shepard runs. Ball over the top, finds Harwinkle's, keeps it under control. Lovely ball inside the zone. Opportunity, this is the one. That's what they've been looking for for the past 15 minutes. Beautiful passing inside the zone. Much cleaner from the Kiwis and it shows in the scoreline. They've got the speed and the strength and the skill. They just need to put it all together. Danish, however, as we've seen in recent years, they have really worked on themselves. They are so much more mentally strong than they were in Santa Mer. Opportunity off the bottom bar. Alcock just not getting enough purchase on that ball. In it goes Torsland all the way back out, kept under control. Willemsen chooses to take it himself. Torsland once again, bottom bar. Willemsen just needs to get his hands on this. There we are. Manages to keep the ball Danish. Forty-five seconds left on the shot clock. Polchinski trying to punch some holes, aided by Killer. Ball finds Polchinski, swatted down, off for a corner. Polchinski working in the zone.
Killer just being held at arm's length. Willemsen. The Danish passing just coming apart a little bit at the seams here under heavy pressure from the Paddle Blacks. Torslund looking dangerous. He wants it. Polchitski finds himself under pressure. Being turned away by Stephen Hamblin. Willemsen takes it himself. Keeps it under control, Willemsen. Shut down once again, off for a corner. Alcott coming off the pitch to bring on Gray, just to try and hold that zone and hold that line. If you are working in the zone, you are absolutely going hell for leather. You are giving it 110%. If you can't maintain that speed, pace, get off and let's say teammate do it for you. That's not touched any Kiwi paddles. That has gone off for a goal line throw. Now, will Denmark push out here? They need this win. Here we go. They are looking like they want to punch out. So they're going to switch on some players who are more suited for the five-man press. The Paddle Blacks will need to cross over and over again and try and lose the men marking them. This is an exercise in teamwork, communication and endurance. 24 seconds left of this Kiwi possession unless they can get a shot away now. They are being penned into their own half. Long ball up. Finds Gray. Gray holds it under heavy pressure. Ooh, that very easily could have been game over for the Kiwis, but that was absolutely stunning by Kyle Alcock. A lifeguard in his working life. Providing a lifeline for the Kiwis here. Torsland over to Willemsen, all the way over. Ooh, off for a corner once again, Polchinski. Just reminding the Kiwis that he's still there and he's still a threat. On comes Harwinkles to come and give the Danish something to think about. Polchinski. Finds Willemsen who wants it, stopped once again. This needs to stay in the hands of Gray, otherwise they're gonna be in so much trouble. Five-man press continues once again. The, oh no, not like this for the Danish Willemsen. He's on his own, he's under pressure. That's the one. The five-man press pays off for the Danish. High risk, high reward. Fifty seconds left on the shot clock and the game clock. All to play for here. This is a game of cat and mouse now. Who is the cat and who is the mouse? Only the next 36 seconds can tell us. New Zealand need to try and get a long pass up and this might be it for the Danish. Soundson, he's all on his own. That's the one. 19 seconds left on the clock. Denmark surely going to send a keeper back or they're going to meet them on the line. Long ball over the top. A Hail Mary. Oh no, he's just looked back at the wrong time. Brooks, unfortunately, lands in his lap and he's not looking at it. Harwinkles. The Danish just need to hold this for the full five seconds, and that is it. What a display 
from the Danish to come from a goal down. Commiserations to the Kiwis, they worked so hard. But the Danes, as we said, they have worked so hard on their mental fortitude after Santa Mer and it has paid dividends today here on pitch one of the 2024 Canoe Polo World Championships. Thank you so much for joining me here on pitch one. The next game on this pitch will be the 1.40 p.m. local time senior men. Denmark taking on Chinese Taipei commentated by me that's right we've got a Danish double header for you today so don't go anywhere Denmark fans